Hey everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the pick a card read. Topic of the reading is what is the person on your mind is thinking about you? What do they have on their mind about you? We're gonna tap into all of that in this reading. What are their true feelings? What is it that they're thinking the most about you? Is gonna be the read. I have pulled out Oracle guidance for both the cards as well. So stay tuned on before I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, I have two piles here, pile moon and pile star pick whatever pile you want to choose and we're gonna find out what is it that your person is currently feeling towards you what are they having on their mind about you so let's begin with pile moon i'm gonna put this aside for some time so let's start with the moon pile let's see what is on your person's mind about you what are their feelings towards you right now wow with the judgment, I really feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you're checking this read for, um, this person has been praying about you. Whether you are having issues, whether you are in new contact situation, whether there are circumstantial blocks within this connection, this person has been heavily praying about this connection and the future of this connection. Let's see other cards here, Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles and Four of Souls. This person has been thinking a lot about you. I really feel like, you know, um, for majority of you, yes, I really feel like, you know, there are so many things which are blocking your connection right now. So they are heavily praying around this connection. They're heavily uh, affirming around this connection. They really love you. They really want you. They really want this connection. But I really feel like, you know, for some reasons, there are some blocks. I feel like, you know, it's more about the circumstantial blocks. Maybe there are cultural differences, religious uh, differences. Maybe there are like families not approving of the connection. Maybe there are some uh, third party situations involved here, but this person really likes you. This person has been praying about a future with you. So I really see that this person is definitely into you, but at the same time, they are trying to work things out, you know, with the given situation that you're having with them right now. There are so many things influencing your relationship with this person in a very negative way. They might be having a lot on their plate as well, but at the same time, they feel like you are losing interest in them because of the way they are unable to give you what you desire. Maybe come commitment maybe you know some some sort of approval uh that the need is kind of taking long and you are telling like you know maybe or you are feeling like you know it's never going to work out because this uh, because of their you know lack of uh, um commitment i feel like you know they, they can sense that you are you know either picking up fights and arguments because of that or you are losing your interest in them they are sorry for not being able to give you what you want but at the same time they're thinking through things to work it out or how to work it out at least so i really feel like you know they're also seeking some divine guidance for some of you they might be also getting some sort of a tarot readings done around the future of the connection as well probably you are also going to you know you are also going to the same phase where you are wondering what's going to happen next they have no clue what's going on and how they are going to be able to make things right in this connection but yes this person has been praying about you um they really love you but at the same time yes i really see that there are certain blocks let's see what the divine message has to add getting to know each other better as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens now for majority of you there is lack of communication between you and your person which is the reason why your connection is heading nowhere like you know if your person has been or you have been more talkative more communicative things would have been completely different maybe you feel that your person is not interested in you that's why they are not giving you the commitment and this is happening because they are not telling you the truth what is going on what is the reason why they are unable to give you what you want what goes in their head about you you have no clarity about it which is the reason why you are unable to understand their way of being right now towards you you feel that maybe they don't like you that's why they are not giving you the commitment but there is a lot that goes beyond that now you have had a relationship with this person you are in a relationship with this person but yes there was no friendship in this connection your connection could have been very sexual your connection could have been like you know very romantic but i really see lack of understanding towards each other which is the reason why your love life is suffering right now with this person um it's very important for the two of you to open up open up 
honestly and you know uh, effortlessly rather than like you know having to make up stories around you know i cannot do this because of so and so i really feel like you know there's lack of uh, communication between you and them this person has some secrets that they are not telling you right now to be honest and it's not a secret secret it's more like you have no clue what's going on in their life there is a lot that is happening behind the curtains and you are unaware of it and that is influencing your relationship in a very 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 negative way so just be mindful of that you both need to talk openly and honestly to each other and if there is no contact going on i really feel like you know you need to surrender your love life situation with this person because until unless they start having that communication open and honest one your connection is heading nowhere so i really see that um well um think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times now i really feel like you know for majority of you your connection is heading to separation or you are already separated from each other now in the given situation the divine really wants you to surrender try not to think that your person is taking taken away from you by heavens or god or whatever instead think of one thing you and your person are connected in divine uh, you know sphere you and them are already tied to each other when you have that cemented belief around the future of this connection things are going to get easy on you you're not going to get worried or anxious around when are we going to get back when this person is going to tell me the truth when are we going to get married you are going to be able to understand them better on a spiritual level you would know that this person craves you or loves you as much as you love them maybe they are having some hard time right now in their personal life you allow this person to have that time especially if you love them and if you feel like you are done waiting on for them i really feel like you know it's time for you to um surrender then you know just surrender your love life for this person surrender your love life overall maybe but you have to stop thinking of this time apart from each other as a block try to take this time alone as a time where you nourish yourself nourish your soul release the negativity release the stress release the anxiety that you are currently having around this connection and the future probably and surrender keep telling yourself keep affirming that something good is going to ha happen you know god is with you keep affirming good stuff of good stuff good stuff over and over again over and over again and when you do that you are going to find the treasures that you have been looking for in regards to this connection with this person so instead of worrying start doing that you can also purchase affirmations from me if you want check the description box for that so yeah that's pretty much it is have been happening in in your love life with this person um i really feel like you know they need some time and you have to be patient with this person so that's what is coming up for you for the people who chose the moon let's see the people who chose the star let's see what's going on in your person's mind about you the current feelings and thoughts about you the star people let's start what is it going on in their mind and their thoughts about you oh wow ace of cups like somebody is feeling so much love so much emotional attachment so much uh, emotional involvement to you or the connection that they have with you so there is somebody out there you know who has been feeling lots of love for you and i really feel like you know this is not something that they felt from day one it seems like you know is it something very new to them they can um they can see and feel their feelings change towards you so i really see it to have started happening for the last probably one month time that they have started feeling certain weight for you so if you are in touch or even if you are not in touch this person is feeling so much love for you uh whether they have been trying their luck here and there or whether they have been strictly you know following you or being with you i really feel like you know they have started having more feelings and deeper feelings for you uh, than ever before so i really see somebody's having lots of love for you and they can sense how beautiful your connection is and i feel like you know it's something which has recently started happening for them let's see more cards here king of wands wow two of cups and page of wands now if this is a new person that you have started dating or seeing i really feel like you know this person is uh, someone who didn't get into a relationship with you for the sake of uh, taking things next level with you they never had that intention to 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 take things next level with you not because of you know you it's something that they didn't want in their love life i really feel like you know this person has started feeling more than ever for you and this is something very um 
you know, this is something which which they never thought they're ever going to have. You know, the feelings, the emotions that they're feeling towards you is com completely, you know, alien to them that they're feeling for you. And it's something that they never experienced with anyone else. I really feel like, you know, your com person could have been very charming, very uh, attractive. But at the same time, they were non-committal. And now, gradually, with, with, with things that they have been feeling towards you, they are feeling the need to open up about their feelings to you. So whether it's a new connection, whether it's an old connection, you are going to hear this person telling you the truth about their feelings to you. They're going to reveal that they love you, they have strong emotions for you, and they want things to go next level. So the non-committal person is going to get committed to you very soon for majority of you because that's what on their mind is. Now, for some of you, I really feel like, you know, if you are in no contact situation, this person is going to approach you and they're going to tell you that they missed you and uh, they now understand the connection better. So they are going to reveal their emotions to you. They're going to let you know how badly, madly they missed you and loved you in all those times and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Now, for some of you, maybe if it's a connection that is currently going on, um, you started off having a very sexual relationship for majority of you, uh, but with no intention to take things next level. It just starts and then you are taking things next level now, which is going to happen in the probably less than a month time. I feel like, you know, your person is going to open up about their feelings within a month, one month time maximum. And they're going to tell you how they feel towards you, how they love you badly. Let's see the guidance here. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. I really feel like, you know, the two of you came together, had a relationship, had a sexual relationship too, but there was lack of love in the connection in the beginning. Um, but now things are changing. This chemistry that you had, that you shared, is now turning into love. So that's what I'm picking up here. So somebody non-committal is ready to love, ready to commit to you. So life energy, the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Now, for those of you who are feeling that maybe your person will never give in to the connection because they never opened up about their feelings, it's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to believe that, you know, why not? Why not would they say that they love you? You know, you have been the perfect one. You know, when you start loving yourself and acknowledging your worth and you start believing that, you know, you have been the sunshine in their life and you are the sunshine in their life, they would definitely treat you like one. So it's all about how you see yourself. And I feel like it's time for you to start giving that sunshine value to yourself first. And when you do that, you are going to brighten this person's life to the point where they're going to start feeling love for you. Instead of feeling like, oh, maybe I'm only good enough for them in bed or stuff like that. That's why they haven't committed to me. No, stop thinking those thoughts. Feel the best version of yourself and become the best version of yourself and believe that this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, they love you. You are their sunshine. You, 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 you are always told by them that you mean a lot to them. You can use affirmations to feel that love coming from this person. You know, you can name the person that Jack is always telling me how madly he loves me. Um, Veronica is always telling me how, how she, she, she feels the need to be with me all the time. So whatever, whoever this person is, you can start using affirmations to feel the love coming from this person. And trust me, this is already happening. It's not something that, you know, the, why I'm saying you to use affirmations, because for some of you, probably you are still feeling that maybe, you know, there is no future to this connection because this person has been non-committal since forever. And how they are going to start feeling love for me. I don't know if I, if I am worthy of that love or not. Stop thinking that just allow this beautiful energy and feel that you are the one that they want they have always been attracted to you sexually but maybe they never felt the love for you before which they are gonna do now and i feel like you know this is something which has been happening already for them god has been filling their heart with so much love for you and you are going to experience that love coming from this person very soon so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading if it was of help do like and subscribe if you are willing to purchase any of the services that are offer check the description box for that till i do the next reading take care bye